incredible weekend slate in the NFL, including one particular team that is undefeated Ooh. in the NFC South. They got a running back out of Texas as a rookie who seems to be able to cut not only on a dime, but on a pin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's out of nowhere all the time. And the coach has this phenomenal mustache across his upper lip that not only boosts testosterone levels and opens doors, but I think it makes the other teams fear to beat the Falcons. Ladies and gentlemen, head coach Artie Smith. Yeah. Hey, appreciate y'all having me on. Coach, we are literally 100 yards away from Touchdown Jesus. Anything you want to say to uh, Touchdown Jesus Christ that's right behind us here, Coach? No, I don't, I don't want to do that to you. But uh, <laughs> a little interesting. But you guys, is that, how's the scene compared to Boulder? So that's a good question. I appreciate you asking that type of stuff. Good. We had a good scene. It's hotter here than it was in Boulder. So for us, a little bit more sweaty, a little bit more water intake. I got tossed like 25 times by some bros over here in the sky. So it's been a little bit more active than Boulder. Have you ever been to Boulder or to South Bend, Coach? Yeah, I've been to South Bend. Boulder kind of driven through there. But I tell you what, it looked like a party last week. Well, it didn't quite give the granola vibe that I, I expe expected. So I don't know if you brought the party that Coach Prime did, but... I figured that was probably why, you know, got bumped off the uh, the manifest last week. Yeah, well, <laughs> Coach, I agree. We thought we were going to see a lot of those, you know, those slide-ins. Oh, yeah. What are those uh, sandals? Birkenstocks. The Birkenstocks. <laughs> thought we were going to see a lot of those, which there was. I do believe there is a lot yeah. of free spiriting up there in Boulder. But they love their football. And let's talk about you down in Atlanta. It electric. Yeah. I, I will say, I mean, he, like, you talk about somebody who's brought an energy to a place. Uh, like, Boulder's become the the center of the college football universe this year. Yeah, they got Oregon uh, this weekend, which is a big one for Coach Prime. But let's talk about you being a coach. How have coaches taken – do you share the opinion of most coaches about Coach Prime, how quickly he's gone into Colorado, turned it on, how he acts? Because I know when Jeff Saturday was hired, and you don't have to talk – but the coaching community was not thrilled. For Coach Prime, is the coaching community behind him, you think? I will never speak for anybody but myself. I think what he's doing is awesome. You know, Pat, I'm, I'm, I, you know, like a guy that can go in there and uh, rock a tank top everywhere and uh, <laughs> kind of take over, you know, uh, old traditional space by storm or a guy that can go into a place and disrupt the, uh, the social norms. I, I, I'm always behind that. So, so I got a soft spot for guys that disrupt. I think what he's doing is awesome. And uh, I, I, I think he's a hell of a coach. Uh, so anybody that's a disruptor, I got a soft spot for. Well. We know you're a disruptor, too. You know, yeah, it's yeah. in your blood, pal. And you've done that down in Atlanta. Remember, the NFC South was supposed to be the Saints, and then there's nobody else. Yep. What has your team done the first couple of weeks, in your eyes, that makes you think, hey, this could be a special year? Because outside looking in, nobody was talking about that before the season, Coach. Oh, we just, look, we got a long way to go, Pat. Not to give you the uh, cliche coach speak, but in all honesty, we know we're, we're going to go into a tough environment, right? Detroit's coming off an of overtime loss, good team be our first challenge on the road, but we, we got a bunch of tough guys. I mean, all, all our job is to try to get better. You know, you go, you know how the journey is, Pat. You can't ride the roller coaster. And so uh, we're excited about this challenge in Detroit. Can you tell us about Bijan Robinson? Fox released this clip from like a sky cam Ooh. where it showcased him as a video game player pretty much. And he's cutting on, I mean, these are professional athletes that like, oopsie ya. That's oh. a professional athlete right there. That guy trained his whole life. Best athlete in all of his friends' groups and everywhere else. And then it's happening every single time he gets the ball, seemingly. You guys knew you were getting this with Bijan, obviously. At what point during, like, OTAs or training camp did you say, this dude's potentially an alien? Probably when we went down to work him out in Austin. And, you know, you watch the tape, but when I saw him in person, and we go through the workout and uh, go on – take them through a route tree too. I mean, the running back stuff was easy to evaluate, but just the person watching them and watching them work, uh, that's different. The way he can stop and, and start and uh, go from zero to 100 again is, is rare. And that's what we were so excited about him. Uh, we knew he had the right mindset too, you know, to handle the hype. And uh, yeah, he does something every day that you kind of shake your head and you're like, holy hell. Like that clip you just showed, you, you've been around a lot of big time NFL players. That's not normal. Yeah, 
That's not normal because those other guys, Savage, that's a professional athlete. First round pick. You know, this isn't like backyard football against your uncle or your neighbor. Like, it's the NFL. He's making people fall over. And it's just his second week in the NFL. Earlier, A.J. Hawk brought up immediately, and he has a question for you. He was like, are they going to pay Bijan in four years? Because <laughs> the running back, Mark, that's he's two weeks into this thing, and he's already being talked about as a guy who's going to change the game for running backs as a whole. It's beautiful to watch you guys down there. A.J. has a question for you, Coach. Hey, Coach, what does it do for the rest of your team, and especially your offensive line when they see the kind of running back they have in Bijan and how hard he runs and how many people he can make miss does that kind of have a trickle down effect to the whole roster and kind of elevate everyone well, yeah I mean you like same thing you know what when you're around guys that are it Bijan's a guy you want to block for too because he, he's a real dude he's authentic it's not like we're seeing some manicured uh you know avatar and then behind the scenes the guy's just brutal you know they, they love this guy, and they love Tyler Algier. Both those guys, they bring it, and they're different players. Yeah, I'm sure, you know, it's, it's probably uh, lifts the level of excitement. And uh, when guys can – they're multipliers. I mean, you, you, a guy that can take a simple run and, and break it for a big one, uh, those guys are rare. Do you feel like you got all your guys in there, culture-wise? Do you feel like this team is, is taking on your identity or at least the identity you would like your team as a head coach to have? Well, I mean, every team's different, Pat, but we've got a lot of the right guys. Um, we've got a lot of great players. I always think in this thing, you need the right mix. It's got to be fit and chemistry. You need great players. You need competent leadership, but it's got to be the right mix. Because when it's not, you can have a team of great players and poor leadership or, you know, it's just, it's bad. I mean, you've, you've seen it all. Both you guys have. And so we feel like the, we got the right mix. And, uh, but, you know, again, it's so early. You know, it won't matter if you go out and lay an egg in Detroit. You know, it's that's the NFL. So we got we got to we got to be ready to roll Sunday. Coach, we haven't heard about any beers outside the locker room. Mm, so yeah. we're still looking forward to that. Tone has a question for you. Yeah, Coach, my question kind of comes from that. We know you're not afraid to have a couple pops. Uh, where would you put Dan Campbell as far as NFL coaches uh, on your rankings that you could share a pop with? Oh, Dan, yeah, he's in the uh, top three. <laughs> you know, it's Braves and and you know Dan's up there. Uh, <laughs> That probably makes me sound like an 80s, uh, like it's an 80s movie. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's up there. Hey, how many tight ends are you going to put on your team, dude? What are we doing? We're just have a roster of 53. We're going to put 17 tight ends on this team and see how we can do? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Old school, bro. You got a tough team. You said that earlier. I, I appreciate the fact that you appreciate that. Like, you want teams to think, hey, we got some tough dudes over here. The way you're structured, the way it's built, the way you operate, I appreciate that. Yeah, and not, not, not the fake tough guys. I mean, guys that bring it. I mean, that's NFL. It's good on good. I mean, you're not going to win every rep, but you got guys that are tough-minded and not just physically. We're not looking for guys that the, the false bravado hitting the back at the play. I mean, we just want to line up, and yeah, we got a lot of smart players too. And, uh, you know, guys that try to spread the ball around, especially in offense. we got a lot of different playmakers, whether they're lined up as wide out. How do you or, feel about you know, Desmond? How do you feel about Desmond? We feel good? Yeah. I mean, watch, watch Desmond operate in critical situations. I love, guys believe. I love that. Hey, you got any message for these people as they uh, skip class and go into a weekend, Coach? Well, I'm not going to pick a side there in that game, uh, you know, but I, I hope they can bring the energy that was in Boulder last week. So I don't know what the big the big bar is in, in, in uh, South Bend. Is it still the back or still open? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, they closed that thing down. You okay. got, him, you got oh, him back. I'm, go. I'm, glad, I'm glad McAfee is opening a tab at the backer tonight. So <laughs> <laughs> that'll be good. Oh, whoa. All right, thanks, Coach. Ladies and gentlemen, Coach Artie Smith, good luck, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coach! He's awesome. The guy's dad founded FedEx. Now he's having me open a tab. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those Some people. You know what I mean? I, I actually think I would do that. That sounds like a good time. That'd be cool. Hey, so the backer's the place, huh? Hey, him talking about Bijan, whenever we went down and met him, feels like he's a good guy. Like, that's the miss, like, I don't want to say the missing piece, but whenever you got a, a supreme talent and a good human, now you're talking about superstar potential. We got to keep him healthy yes. to watch him, but there's a superstar building down there in Atlanta that I think the world's going to have to take notice of if they keep winning these games. Well